Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another Halo Megablocks review by the SS Motion. So, today I'll be reviewing the new set, the Covenant Wraith, which is item number 97014, is 637 pieces, is a re-release of the old Wraith in a new mould and is currently retailing at about 50 to 60 pounds. To the right of the packaging we can see the new Halo 4 design to the Megablox packaging with the Halo 4 Master Chief. It is pictured on the front and sides and on the back of the packaging we can see some of the new sets in the range including the Banshee Blitz, the white combat set, the Brute Chieftain Charge and the blue combat unit or Cobalt combat unit. Starting with the Elites first we'll start with the Combat Elite. Now, this is in gold and may be confused with the one included in the drop pod early this year. It is, in fact, not the same. There are some subtle differences. On the left, I show the one in the Wraith set, the new one. And on the right, I show the old drop pod one. Now, first off, the eyes. The eyes are red on the new Wraith and green on the drop pod. Now, on the Wraith set, these two blue lines included in the chest a detail that are not present on the um, drop pod and on the drop pod we have little black lines here and here and some green lights here and on the legs which are all not present in this figure moving on to the next and final elite in the set we have the commando elite now this is a brand new mold this is only seen in this and the new snowbound set so it is very nice indeed the head is the only new piece in the figure the arms are from the flight elite and the chest and legs from the normal combat elite so it is only the head that is different but still a very nice new mold and nice to see another piece of armor added to the elite collection we have some blue detailing in the eyes and on top of the head and apart from that it is all primary gold coloring with black secondary detailing moving on to the spartans included with the set we have the EOD spartan with EOD chest and and arms and it is very nice in a dark green color with white highlighting on the oxygen supply and gold eyes and this comes with this piece of scout armor now this is only the head chest and arms and does not come with any legs which is again very annoying for the price we pay for this set the armory is meant to give you more customization on your figures but honestly I think it is a way of mega trying to earn a bit more money because if you think about it if they give you those two pieces instead of giving you two figures you then have to go out and buy the set again to get the legs for the scout it is very annoying especially with the armory sets where you have to buy about three of the set to complete your collection but you can obviously take the scout and do what I did take a standard green spot and found in any random packs and practically any set and just pop it on and it looks absolutely perfect the colors practically match and you can see both of them there the scout comes with scout head chest and shoulders and as the same as the EOD has a gold visor and black secondary coloring so two no very nice Spartans then just a shame we don't get the legs with the scout Spartan but as I've said it's very fixable just with standard green Spartan legs now, one of the best things I can find about this set, which I really love, and I think Mega has gone to a lot of effort because, let's face it, the Wraith is a re-release, so I think they've gone to a lot of effort to give a new Commando Elite, and the reason I love this set is that, that we have four weapons that are completely brand new. Four weapons that have not seen, been seen before and are new. So first off, we have the Plasma Launcher. This is seen in Halo Reach and is very nice. It's a shame that all four of the weapons are just one colour but I'm sure Mega will be releasing more of these in the future so we're bound to see the detailing coming out in some of the armory sets and things. But this is just a primary colour of purple, has some very nice detailing 
And then the second elite weapon we get is the focus rifle, also seen in Halo Reach, with some really amazing detailing there. And what I can comment that I love about both of these is both of them have holes that can actually fit into the back of elite. If you've seen from the previous weapons, like the needler, for example, and the plasma pistol, they all don't have the slots to fit into the elite's backs. So these are very nice for posable and you know, battlescapes and stop motions and things, so very nice there. The UNSC weapons are the rocket launcher. This is a new mold, completely new, and what I like about it when you compare it to the old rocket launcher is it's much bigger, has a better feel to it, and doesn't have the peg there. You can peg it into the back of the Spartan there, and that doesn't stick out when operating in stop motion things. I've normally cut mine off of those stumps. And finally we get the new target locator also seen in Halo Reach. I'm, I'm personally going to paint this because I think it's a bit poor that it's only in grey, but it's a very nice weapon indeed, and I've been looking forward to Mega releasing this weapon particularly. Moving on to the vehicle included in this set. Now, before anyone comments, I'm only going to focus on the Wraith. I'm not going to compare it to the old Wraith. If you want me to, I'll gladly release in a while a comparison video between the two Wraiths. I'm pl already planning to release a comparison video between the different Mongooses released, different Warthogs, the Wolverines and Choppers and etc. So if you want me to release a comparison video, please do say so, because I will. So this is a very, very nice, very nice vehicle. It has a lot of articulation here and here. And the new design for the way the plasma launcher comes out is fantastic. The two panels slide back here and out, and the cannon comes out here. It's amazing. I really like this design. I think Mega's gone to a lot of trouble to design it and slides back in like so. Sticker detailing include different stickers here, weapon, bullet damage, lighting and a lot of different detailing here. Personally I might get another one of this set so I can have it without the stickers because I don't actually think the stickers are all that good but still. The side panel here lifts up to reveal a figure that can be displayed inside with a little control panel and a figure can operate the turret that rotates around here and has quite a lot of articulation. And similar to quite a lot of other sets like the Wraith and the Revenant and things, it has some balls here in translucent plastic material so it can give the idea of the Wraith levitating which is a very nice piece of detail. The only thing I can say comparing it to the old Wraith right now is that it has a fantastic a lot of articulation is much smoother, the design's much smoother, everything's curved, and it is a really, really nice design with a new, bolder purple colour instead of the old bluish purple. And finally we move on to the last piece involved in the set, the Forerunner structure. This is very nice. Um, there's a few more Forerunner structures being released which can all attach together. It comes with a nice grass base plate there and has a lot of detailing with translucent blue pieces here showing lighting and some lighting stickers running up here. It's a very nice little piece of detail that Mega's added to the set. So for about 50 to 60 pounds you get a fantastic amount of new kit. You get two elites, one a slight off mold of the previous version with the different colour detailing, one brand new commando elite, one green EOD Spartan and the pieces to make a green scout Spartan without the legs which you can just take from a standard green Spartan. You get the weapons of the brand new focus rifle, brand new plasma launcher, brand new target locator and brand new mold rocket launcher. You get the new mold wraith which is fantastic, much sleeker design with a lot more detail and a new forerunner structure. So I would strongly recommend this. This is brand new and really really nice this was another halo megablocks review by the ss motion please like favorite and subscribe if you enjoyed what you see and we'll see you next video